Good evening. Underprepared and a lack of leadership, Auckland Council has been slammed in a damning report into the immediate response to the January floods. But former Police Commissioner Mike Bush didn't lay the blame on any single person, rather saying a series of failings dating back as far as 2016 contributed to the catastrophic response. Adam Hollingworth reports. The night of the 27th of January will go down in the history books for all the wrong reasons. Auckland Council's emergency management systems, its operating model and the relevant plans, policies and pr procedures was not prepared for an event of this mag magnitude or speed. When the deluge began, the key people were downplaying the danger. This unprecedented, unprecedented event unfolded with extraordinary speed. Minutes mattered. We consider that the request for an emergency declaration could and should have been made earlier in the evening. And no one was in charge. One key lead player had left in 2020 and wasn't replaced. Meanwhile, the chief executive was communicating with the mayor via text, telling him the weather was expected to abate. From the time Auckland Council Emergency Management stood up an incident team at 4.30pm on that Friday, to the end of that team's first virtual meeting at 6.15pm, much of the damage was done. As a result, with the emergency services saying they had things under control, the decision to declare an emergency wasn't made till after 10 o'clock, during which time Aucklanders were in the dark and many were underwater. Amazingly, they didn't even know the airport was flooded. And worse, four people died. Aucklanders did not receive the timely communications, leadership and practical support. They had the right to expect in a crisis of this magnitude. But the problems date back to 2016. For eight years, the council talked about making an emergency plan for such a massive weather event, but none eventuated. Review head Mike Bush won't single out any person who's responsible, but collectively, they all get a serve. I, I think everyone will take a step back and look at their role. There are many people involved in leadership roles in Auckland Emergency Management. The mayor who commissioned this report didn't front. Instead, he released a statement saying he signed a declaration of emergency as soon as he was advised. He accepts that he should have been more assertive in demanding information, but said that the preparation wasn't good enough. Bush says the flood event is an important wake-up call for Auckland and it must do better. I believe they should start tomorrow. And, and uh, I'm sure you'll hear from others who will tell you that they are underway already. Because, as everyone acknowledges, such events will be more frequent in the future. Kia ora, Adam. So what did you find most extraordinary about this report? Mike, the most extraordinary thing we found was the lack of communication between the mayor and the chief executive, described in the report as disjointed and suboptimal. You've got that text at 4.30 saying that there's flooding in Swanson and Ranui from Jim Stabak. He's basically then saying the weather's expected to abate. And then there's no offer of a briefing from the chief executive to the mayor, and the mayor isn't seeking one in return. Then you have this key meeting at 8.30, but the report points out that the damage is already done by 7 o'clock during which time there's nobody in leadership from Auckland Council who's uh, visibly appeared for the media to give any assurances or any direction. Adam Namahi.